So we're doing this machine called uh, Ignite. It's just an ASIN uh, machine. Okay. So let's get started as we always do. So let's say, we grab this one. We see it 80 is open at least. So let us go to the site. And <laughs> okay. So they're just screaming the most likely vulnerability, right? And we, we always want to look at identifying things like this. And if we get a specific version, then it's even better, right? So Fuel CMS, it has several for most consecution sims. And yeah, it was the only port there to find as well. It seems so this you cancel that one. Let me take a look at this one right here. So the URL right there. It goes to this path right here. And then it creepends something encoded right there. And then it also has a proxy setup. We don't need that. And that's about it again. URL decode. I just want to take a look. Okay, so this is just straight up vulnerable code, which is system command. Okay, so we can run this again. So when you die, P, like so. And then put it there. And then in terms of a prox there, let's say, per PRL, get request per PRL. We don't need a prox here at here. And then we can remove the prox here at here. Let's try that. So yeah, it does work. So we pretty much have a shell right there. So let's go to revshells.com. We're about to get more stable shell. And there we go. Now we have a nice shell shell that we can stabilize further, but yeah. So that was a very simple and quick uh, initial access. Hope you enjoyed.